Hi guys, back with another video and welcome to Rolly and Gasha. Hi guys, hello. Okay, so today I'm here for my stupidly put off, stupidly weighted Q&A video. Now, I was not kind of expecting the amount of response I got from when I asked the questions. I got about a hundred questions. So what I'm going to do today is make two videos. So basically, in this first video, I'm going to like answer the questions I got from Instagram. And then in my next video that I will make for like next week or the week after, I'll do the rest the questions from YouTube and Facebook. So I think I'm just gonna get straight into it and I just, I just, yeah. Um. If you could breed two animals and defy the laws of nature to make a new species, which would you pick? I think I'd mix like a cat with like a bear and you sort of make this, oh my God, cat and a bear and you could make like a Totoro. You could literally make a Totoro. Would that make sense? Uh, is he sort of like a bear, but he has like a nature of a cat because he's quite soft and fluzzy. Although cats can be quite bitchy sometimes, and Totoro's not really a bitch. I don't know. How would I make a Totoro, guys? Tell me. I would say I would love to make a Totoro. What was your very first date like? <laughs> Any plans for the year ahead, like VidCon or any collabs coming up? Yes, I am going to be at VidCon. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to meet loads of you. So please come to VidCon. I am going with my friend Jamie, who was here a few like weeks ago. Also, I'm going to Summer in the City this year as well. So make sure you either come to VidCon or Summer in the City. And like, I'd love to meet you guys. It'd be so much fun. And we could just, oh my God, this was so fun. I just can't wait. Do you believe in God? I don't believe in God in the way that Christianity or all the other faiths sort of like depict God as. I don't know if I believe that we were here just by chance. Like I don't, Think I just think, oh, a meteor hit the earth and bacteria spread and we evolved. I kind of feel like we were put here by something, by like a different race or a different species or something. Like, I don't believe in the guy living upstairs who, you know, wants us to all to praise him and obey him and just like, no. So I just feel like they created us or whatever and left. Would you rather eat a pillow or a trash can? Neither. I'd rather survive. Yes, thank you. I'd rather live. What is this face? Is this my living face? <laughs> what do you think about Australia joining Eurovision this year? Do you think it should only be European countries and that places such as Azerbaijan should not be able to compete? Now I am so excited and so happy that Australia is in Eurovision. You know, Australia has always been kind of part of Eurovision this whole time because it's always been big there. I'm not too sure how it came about that it got big there, but it's always been big in Australia. Um, I'm sorry for anyone who doesn't really understand Eurovision. And you know, there are people like already commenting, they're not in Europe, why are they competing? But there was, there's so many countries already who aren't in Europe who are in Eurovision. So your argument is invalid. Like just because they're slightly further away, doesn't, I don't know, no, it's just stupid. I love that they're in it, I'm so happy. I I hope they get to stay, and I really hope they get Kylie Minogue on the stage. Yes, bitch, yes, god, yes. If you could fuck anyone in the world, who would it be? I think someone needs Jesus. Do you like goldfish? Goldfish are a little bit just too plain, but magic up on the other hand. Would you rather jump off a bridge or hug a tiger? What is it with you people and wanting me to die? I don't understand why you want me to die. What have I done to you? <laughs> I'd rather hug a tiger. How did you deal with poor reactions to you coming out? Now, I was really lucky that I didn't really get any negative reactions. You know, the one good thing about being a flamer is like, it's kind of obvious to a lot of people. So when you do come out, it's not like they haven't really thought it. There was a couple people who were a bit like, what? I'm like, how did you not know? Like in hindsight, how did you not know? But I mean, I didn't really have any negative reactions. There was one girl who was like my like friend at the time and she kind of outed me to a lot of people, which for me was a big deal because I wasn't ready for all these people to know. So I did get like really upset and really hurt about that. My advice to you, if you do get any negative reactions, especially from friends, just to say to them like, bye Felicia, because bitch please, if they're your friend, they will not ditch you. Like a true friend will stand by you regardless. What piercing would you like to have next, if any? What I want to get next really though is my nipple done. That's one of those things that I've always wanted to get. But because I had like, I mean, before I started working out, I was obviously just like literally like skin on bone. That's literally all I was. So now that I've sort of buffed up a little bit, like I kind of 
want to get my nipple done so it kind of, it will look better than just like if you're really skinny. If you could own a Pokemon in real life, which would you pick? And which Pokemon do you think needs to fuck off because it's useless? Okay, first of all, we're saying goodbye to that stupid gear. Clink clank or whatever it's bloody called, like bye Felicia, bye bitch, but I'm saying bye Felicia a lot in this video. Bye Felicia, bye, you can literally go die, you stupid. Now I would love to have like, um, um, oh don't ask me, there's so many Pokemon. I'd probably have something like a Yuxi. I think you pronounce it like Yuxi because I love this little bitch. I love this little cute little thing. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit sort of manic. Um, so yes, I am going to do another Q&A either next week or the week after. I might not, like, I might want to space out a little bit, but um, I will do another one soon. But yeah guys, make sure you hit that like button because it's really helped me out and share with all your- <laughs> down! Make sure you come and follow me on all my social medias, my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, all the links are in the description. I update them all the time, it's so really good if you come and follow me, and I love you, and I'm gonna go and be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you wanna be, and don't let any bitch how they take up with you, because you are flawless, yeah, go on, yeah! Get me back online, cause I know that it is time, gotta stop the countdown, cross over the line, to another world, the one where you are mine, burning up my system, waiting for